All right, guys, welcome to another song title challenge here. Uh, if you're new to the show, this is where we get a hit songwriter and my good friend and co-host, Mr. Brent Baxter, to uh, we, th- we throw a song uh, title at him that you have sent in, and he hasn't heard it before. We, we throw it to him live, and we take about five or ten minutes to hash out the different angles so you can get inside the mind of a songwriter, of a lyricist, figure out how he would spin these lyrics. So uh, if you're interested in this, Please uh, send your song title to uh, uh, info at daredevilproduction.com. Once again, production is singular. There is no S. Info at daredevilproduction.com with all capital letters, song title challenge, so it gets put into the right folder. This is not a co-write. Uh, this is just a fun little exercise where you can get some different perspectives on a title that you have and, and maybe send you in a different direction. And, and hey, whatever you come up with, uh, we're going to be excited about the, the only thing that you're going to owe Brent and I is uh, an invitation to the number one party. Amen to that. Is that right? Amen. I'd love to be there. All right. So from this title here, this is a little out there. I want to see what you're going to do with this. Oh, boy. All right. Um, this is from uh, Mr. Shane Tripod. Oh, boy. And, Judging you know, just by his climb reviews, I can't imagine what this is going to be. <laughs> but here we go. Ghosts to toast. <laughs> Ghost to toast. Ghosts to toast. Yeah, ghosts is plural. Ghosts to toast. All right. All right. So write that down. I'm writing that down. All right. So here's the deal. Um, I'm, you know, mostly a country lyricist. So I'm going to look at these as a country song. I'm a country hammer, so I'm going to try and – nail these as country hit singles. All right. So that's what I'm aiming for here. So ghost to toast. All right. So of course, you know, like the internal rhyme aspect of it, it's definitely different. Uh, so I'm drawn like, okay, well, it's a different title. I haven't heard that one before. Um, uh, first thing you know, I thought of was, you know, breakfast toast. All right. So that was the first thing I thought of. Um, I was like, that's weird ghost to eat toast or something. What's going on there? Um, but then I was thinking, oh man, is that like, you know, you know, you're sleeping, then you're, you're dreaming about this girl, her, her memory, you know, her ghost kind of thing, you get up and you're having toast. I'm like, that's just weird. And then I was thinking, oh wait, well, toasting your ghost, yeah. you know, raising a toast. So yeah. of course, drinking is the first thing Johnny thinks of. I, think of, <laughs> I, I went there first. Yeah. I think, of, I think of food. I like, I got a lot of toasts. I think of food. Uh, so I'll let you know where we're coming from. Um, okay. So I was like, okay, that's more interesting. Yeah. I'm toasting my, to my ghost, um, toast, ghost to toast. So how do we get into that? Like, um, I got a lot of ghost to toast, you know, um, raising a glass and, you know, to the past kind of thing. So if you go that way, um, then I think it, you know, I want to go positive. I want to find a way that's not, and toasting, you're toasting them, right? So that's, there's, there's a positivity that's kind of baked into that because you're toasting them. You're not roasting them, basically. You know, you're not exactly. mad at them. You're, if you're toasting, you're like, here, here, here's to you. Good, well done, right? So there's kind of built in some positivity, but also built in kind of darkness, negativity because of ghost. So how do we, make these two play in the sandbox together. So, I mean, it looks to me like you're, you're looking back on, on people that have meant something to you, people that are no longer around in your life, either because they are, they have passed away or because they've just, it was a season they're gone. They're an ex-girlfriend, an ex-lover, uh, uh, you know, your, or your grandpa or somebody, you know, a friend of yours from high school, you don't get to see, you don't see anymore. So, but they're ghosts, and I guess in some way it, it, it haunts you maybe. So I'm wondering if there's something where, um, you know, that haunting thing, but you, you're thankful for it, you know? I was thinking um, about like lessons learned from a past relationship. Yeah, like, that, that's kind of where like, I'm heading with this. Like everybody's always got to have a toxic relationship so you know what toxic looks like and <laughs> stay away from it, right? Right, or mistakes I've made, mm-hmm. you know, the, the girl that I didn't treat right. Mm. that is no longer here and that haunts me. But, you know, Ooh, I want to thank better. you that's for <laughs> teaching me um, to be more careful, you know, to, with, with someone's heart, you know, to watch my words, to, to be honest, to be kind, to be faithful, to whatever, you know. And, and I think you're listing these. You got, you know, da-da-da, and you hit your, you know, you got this ex-love or maybe you got a, a grandpa, you know, because you can, do different things. It kind of the vignette thing, you know, country things. So like, you know, my grandpa that taught me this and that, 
you know, about hard work or sacrifice or whatever, you know, and he's gone, but man, he's still riding around in my head, you know, and then there's someone else maybe from like a hometown, um, you know, maybe a bully that Tommy, you got to stand up for yourself, hmm. you know, and I still, you know, he tormented me until I finally stood up for him. And every time I see injustice or whatever, I, st- I still see his face, yeah. Kenny or whatever, you know, <laughs> and then it's like, you know, I, I got a lot of ghosts riding around, you know, with me in the back of my head and da, 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 that keep <clears throat> these things. But I got, I'm thankful for the lessons learned. Yeah. I got a lot of ghosts to toast. And then you can go on to the love section. You know, those are like life set. I like to kind of segment these a little bit. Not that it has to be that way, but like first, first, you got your life stuff. When I was a kid, grandpa and the bully, boom, course, overarching theme. Now I'm moving on to more of like the love stuff, the girl that I didn't treat right, that I made mistakes with and she's gone, you know, now she, she left me, we broke up, whatever. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of ghosts to toast and I just want to thank you for, you know, um, you got to twist it where it's not like now he's insensitive. Like, Hey, thanks a lot for letting me screw up on you. And I learned from it. You know, you got to be careful about how you frame that. So he didn't come off still looking callous, but um, you know, that, that ghost and that, that regret of how I treated you, that's teaching me. So I'm not, you know, so I'm thankful for the ghost, the memory, the lesson learned, you know, mm. that, that haunts me and, and reminds me to treat people better, whatever. I got a lot of ghosts to toast, you know, and this may be too like biographical kind of thing for most artists, but like, you know, that fight I had with my dad and that was the last time we talked and he died, yeah. you know, and that reminds me to end, you know, speak with love. I always say, I love you. Every day. Always say, I love you. Don't let, don't let it in like that. I got a lot of ghosts to toast. So thank you for helping me live a better life. I got a lot of ghosts to toast. Nice. There, yeah. That could be it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's sort of, you know, then you got the raise the glass, you know, I'm thinking you could maybe do almost like an Eric church kind of thing. Right. Uh, so raising the glass to the past and all the lessons mm-hmm. and all the scars and all the, you know, broken hearts and stuff that are helped me get better, you know, um, some like, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting to almost, you know, I got a lot of ghosts to toast or something. I'm getting that's to it. almost. They got a I lot don't of know. Um, oh, that's he. It's coming together. It's coming so it's coming together. together. <laughs> so that's my thought on it. Uh, you know, not like a big tempo thing because it's still, you know, it's moody. Uh, you can do like a mid kind of a driving thing, mm-hmm. like an air church or, or something where it's not a ballad, but it's not going to be a big rock and tempo. I think it's some little dark kind of moving because you are talking about ghosts and regrets and lessons learned. Uh, so you slow it down enough where there's enough of a spotlight on the lyric and, and your little stories. Um, but then ultimately it's, it's still a weird title. Still, a, I would probably play with the title and uh, maybe call it ghost or, you know, raising it, you know, there my, when my, I, don't, I like ghost I don't to know. toast. I'm going to argue for ghost to the toast. Okay. The toast to well, I'm brainstorming. Weird. It's all right. We're not it's, writing it this anyway. You, you, yeah. It just makes you go, wait, what? Like, no, it does make you go, what is that about? Yeah, um, like, I'm gonna make. I, I mean, if somebody sent me a song. It's a ghost. To talk, I would listen to that just because I'm. Well, I'm mean, gonna go with this. Yeah, if you sing it right, you know, I got a lot of ghost to toast or something. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's not just I got ghost to toast and I got da da da. You know, at, at the end, I could see you going like, you know. So I'm raising a glass to the past <laughs> and the lessons and the, you know, I've learned that yeah. keep coming back and haunting me but making me better. Da 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 and those. I'm not there yet, but I'm almost. Yeah, you know, whatever. So I'm taking a drink. I got a lot of ghost to toast or something yeah. saying thanks. Like you know, I thank them if I could, if they were here. So that's my thought chain. Uh, cool title, tricky. And uh, thankfully I've had some coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, hey, I was going to let you know. Also, if you guys um, have song ideas that you want to run past somebody like me that you either want to say, Hey, I got this idea. What can we do with this and really dive into it? You know, this is 10 minutes off the cuff if you want to dive into it for an hour or more, I do have one-on-one coaching available and we can go through song ideas. We can, heck, we can even write a song together or you can just pick my brain about music business and the art and the craft and, and all that about songwriting. Uh, you can find that at my uh, coaching calendar at songwritingpro.com slash coaching. You can look there, see what hours I have available, book yourself a time. It'll walk you through the whole process. So go songwritingpro.com slash coaching 
Find a time that works for you. Book a session. You'll get an email that says, okay, here's where you send your song. Here's what I need to know. Get you all set up. Makes it really easy for you. And then we meet online or over the phone. You can be anywhere in the world. There you go. So check it out. That's perfect. Get inside the head of a songwriter. Now you can get in front of them too and write one with them. Can't there you go. That. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of our first little mini-sode, uh, the Climb Mini-sode Song Title Challenge. Good job, Brent. Thanks.